everybody for chiming in. Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Man. What's up, Cheryl? What's up, uh, Brandon? Trenda, Trenda in the building. Thank you for chiming in. Get your friends list. We're finna get it in one more time. Hallelujah. Shalom, sis. Uh, let's get ready. Let's go to let's go to uh, Matthews. The 25th chapter today. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Beginning at the 14th verse. Matthew's 25, you said? Yep, Matthew 25 and 14. And look what it says. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own service and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, unto another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them another five talents. And likewise he that had received two as he had gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his master's money and after a long time, the master of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Master, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. And his master said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over and many things enter thou into the joy of your master. He also had received two talents, came and said, Master, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents besides them. And his master said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the master. And then he which had received the one talent came and said, Master, I knew that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and hast gathered where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid uh, thy talent in the earth. Lo, uh, thou hast that is thine. And the master said unto him, uh, Thou wicked and slowful servant, thou knewest that I uh, reap where I have sown not, and gather where I have are not straw, thou oughtest therefore to put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own usury. Uh, uh, take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and, and, and he shall have abundance. But from him which hath not, shall be taken away even that which he had, and cast she that unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Y'all ready to talk today? Y'all sure? Y'all on Facebook, you have a chance to tune out right now. <laughs> or forever hold your peace. Um... Here we go. 
the kingdom is likened on to, you know, the, uh, a master that um, went into a far country and, and, and he gave his goods. Now, <clears throat> the master going into a far country is, is basically the same thing as the sower going to sow. Mm -hmm. Going to sow the seed of the word, right? And um, you notice how some fell on at different stages, right? And the last, the last person brought forth fruit. Some, some sixty, some forty, some you know. Uh, he he was he was uh, profitable, and so you have a master that's going out into a far country, you know, coming down forty-two generations. The Most High came down forty-two generations, you know, you know, being found fashioned as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient on the death, even the death on that tree. A man on a mission. And when he died on that tree, you know, he rose again and then he came back. He didn't leave us comfortless, according to Yakanan or John, right? Uh, 14 and, and, you know, 26 or whatever, right? But he baptized himself inside of us, a.k.a. the Ruach HaKadosh. And we shall receive power after his spirit has come upon us, right? So, he, he's, he's given us his, his spirit and he has expectation. He has, he's made the deposit. We've been sealed uh, with the spirit of promise. And so he has expectation from the believer in these last and evil days, right? Now that the word is unfolding on a level that's unreal, if you really get it, oh my goodness, even the book of Revelation just becomes so plain. But the, the book is unfolding and the mission is becoming more and more clear of what we should be doing and what the heck is going on. All the way down to who his real children are and what they should be doing, right? Because if you remember, um, you know, he blessed Abraham because of his faith, meaning Abraham was willing to do what he said, irregardless of the circumstances. And because of that, he said, I'm going to bless your seed. Well, when he blessed his seed, his seed didn't act like their daddy. Abraham, and they ended up going into bondage after bondage. So then the most high, still they have a job to do. So what he did is he, he wrote himself in the body and came to them. But Yachanah 1, right, said he came up to his own and his own received him not. They said, kill him. They were under the influence of the powers that be, the religious system. The religious system, the Talmudic Jews, the, 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 the imposters was ruling then. And they were stirring them up and having them acting a fool. And, and they, they, they went in the crowd and told them to, to ask for Barabbas and to reject the, the, the Messiah. They crazy self. He came unto his own, his own received him not. They, they said, give us Barabbas and kill him, a.k.a. King James Version. Crucify him. Kill him, which is a Roman term. I'm with that. I can imagine them saying crucify him. <laughs> but they said crucify him, kill him. And, 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 and not many uh, uh, days hence, years hence, about 40 years later, that's when after he, he, he died on that tree and rose again about 40 years later, that's in 70 AD, that's when Rome hit Jerusalem because they said, you know, let his blood be upon us and our children. So here we are now. But the key is, the word is opening up, you know, we find out that they uh, fled into Nigeria, you know, you know, uh, the, 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 it was really three tribes, uh, you know, Benjamin, uh, Judah, and, and, and the Levites, but they were, they were in Jerusalem, and <clears throat> they fled into Nigeria hiding, and that's where, you know, they came to get them, the dragon searching after the woman that brought forth the man child. Very upset and upset uh, with the children of Israel. Uh, the other ten tribes are still hiding out or, or wherever they are. You know, I ain't going to get into where they are. But wherever they are, they are. But, you know, uh, uh, Judah, take the three tribes were scattered and shipped into slavery to the uh, four corners of the earth. But now that the book is unfolding, then the responsibility of the book is back. We were his children, and our job was to set. A, we were supposed to be a set aside people to evangelize this wicked planet. Because you got 
really two seeds going on. You got two representations. You got you got you got you got Judah. You got Judah, uh, which with, with, she said I love, or, or Jacob. You got you got Israel, which I love, and you got the Edomite, which I hate. And those was the people that represent the selling of your birthright, selling of don't care about the things of Yah, carnal, fleshly. And when when, when it came time uh, for 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 uh, Esau Esau to be to, to be blessed, Jacob had already took it. And so he was blessed to be a, 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 you know, to live by the sword and have money and to, and to, and to, and to, and to, and to, and to rule the world, to be honest with you. He, he's in control. And he's in control knowing that the Most High don't like him. And he don't like the Most High either. And so now this place is super wicked. And they're the ones that control all the media. They control television. They control the cartoons. They control this, this, this economy, capitalism. They control a system that uh, millions of tons of food is thrown away every day, but people are starving to death. They control that. Uh, they, they control like the, the, the medical system, the where is pharmacia, uh, 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 potions and chemicals, mm -hmm. as opposed to natural. They can't make money. They can't patent that. Uh, so they got rid of that. You know, they got rid of all holistic healing. Uh, and that's why they're killing holistic doctors now. See, I, I didn't mean to go here. I was trying to go somewhere else, but we'll get there. But, <laughs> but, 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 because they hate Yah. They hate Yah. We think they're atheists. They're not atheists. They hate Yah. And they hate his children as well. But with that being said, um, it, w w with this evil world and truth is being revealed, now it's time for the people of Yah to wake up. And take the rightful position. Don't think it's strange because even in Torah, in the Old Testament, there was a, 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 a proselytes, a however you pronounce it, a proselytes that uh, were added to Israel, those that want to follow Yah. Well, the same with the Gentiles being grafted in. The only difference this time, it would be just a remnant of his original children. That would be saved because the majority of those that were supposed to be evangelized in the world said crucify him. Turned their back on him, was in idol worship, and they were shipped into slavery up under the influence of now uh, 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 serving wood and stone. Uh, 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 thinking they Muslim, stone, the Mecca stone over there in, uh, 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 no, Mecca. Mecca. Yeah. Thinking they're Muslims. Yeah. Or, 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 or the Unk. Egyptology, but it's still the Unk. The cross is the Unk, y'all. He was hung on a tree. <laughs> the, 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 the cross ain't nothing but... It's a, it's a Roman paganistic term, but it actually originates from the Unk. It's, it's the same same idolatrous stuff with, with, with uh, Caesar Borgia hanging on there. He don't look nothing like that. His, his skin was burnt copper. Like it was burnt in a furnace, mm -hmm. and his hair was like lamb's wool. And if you read it, you can read it in mm -hmm. uh, 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 Revelations, the first chapter, and whatever verse, uh, and uh, uh, Daniel seven and nine. Uh, but but the point now we're gonna get to the point. The point is, truth is being revealed of what, wh who is who, and what we should be doing. And when you wake up, you don't. Entangle yourself with the cares of this life. You start to withdraw yourself. You, 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 you become, when you really belong to him, you begin to, through the Ruach HaKadosh, through a spirit living in, inside of you, you begin to seek first. You can seek other stuff, right? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that all this other stuff will be added on to you. And if you look at Colossians, right? He said, if you then be risen with him, seek those things right above. Where the Mashiach sits in the right hand of Yah, right? It says, set your affections on things above, not on, not on things on the earth. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. The reason why people are not effective in him as they should is because they're probably, a lot of people trying to do both. Especially the children of Israel, not knowing who they really are, think they're Americans. <laughs> Chasing the American dream, which has been a nightmare for you, Joker. That's just how sleep you are. 
you get a couple of people that made it in the industry and you think we got it going on. You mess around, got your little job, a little money, but the majority of your folks is in jail. Mm -hmm. Drinking lead water. You don't know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drink, drinking lead water, get, uh, getting vaccination shots, getting autism. You don't know that? Uh, you didn't train your, your mm -hmm. boss, didn't you? Didn't someone come, didn't know the job like you? And, and because there was an Edomite, you trained them and then they took your job, but you comfortable, right? You think, uh, you think we're the problem. We dumb. You got it twisted, baby. Uh, we, we were taught that we were slaves from day one. When, when you went to school, the inferiority complex started at school. When, 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 when Becky and them found out that Christopher Columbus and them was good folk, uh, he wasn't but a pirate and a rapist and a, and, and, and a thief, and land thief and a child molester and a devil. Oh, see, I, now here I go. I got to. My wife don't want me to say that. I'm serious, dude. I know. Synagogue of Satan. But, 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 but the Hebrew kid, uh, he, they taught him 1611, his future started on the, as a slave. So your inferiority complex uh, 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 kicked in. You thought you was nothing and nobody. Well, come to find out, the Bible is your history book. And it was about you the whole time. And you have a responsibility to the earth. And uh, there's a lot of accomplishments you made that you weren't taught about. And so you, you think that, again, that you're less uh, than, in fact, legally you was three-fifths of a human being. But as truth is being revealed, it's not that you start thinking you're better than other folks. It's actually just greater as he that's in you than he that's in the world if you bow down and assume the faith of your father Abraham. And just like the same faith that Abraham had is the same faith that the Gentile has to have. But what a, cha what a role reversal. Now, from an earthly standpoint, Edomite Esau is in control. And he's in control of the weaponry. He's in control. He's a bully. And he's a dictator. And his father is, 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 is of the devil. The, 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 the Messiah told him. Said, you are of your father the devil. Yes. They said, you know, told him that he did his... He did his, uh, 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 that's under the influence of sin is a slave of sin, and they turned around and said, We'd be in slavery to no man. Because yes. he was talking to the uh, Talmudic Jews, to the Edomite Jews. That wasn't to the Hebrew Jews he talked to. He was talking to those that was in authority that took over. And he told them, You have your father the devil, because uh, Jacob have I love, but Esau have hated. There's a people that hate Yah, and Yah hate them. Yah's going to judge them, and their system is super wicked. And that's why there's homeless folks. That's why there's home. That's why Planned Parenthood. That's why this whole place is sexually twisted. We're going back to Rome. <laughs> this ain't nothing new. They think it's a, a sexual revolution. No, this, this is the devil's people program. Mm -hmm. And they're causing chaos and they got everything twisted. But those that belong to Yah, it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up and quit trying to chase the American dream again, which ain't nothing but a nightmare for you. And the cold part about it is nightmare for others because them fake Jews is so twisted, they act like they really are the people. And they call even white people in the Americas, they call them what, goits? They call them goit. They call us goit. They call anyone other than a, a Talmudic a Ashkenazi Jew goits, meaning like an unbeliever. And they even call other white folks Goids, even though they goids, but they didn't brainwash themselves. Yeah. When being being a true Israel is a bloodline, you can't join it through marriage and through all. It's a bloodline thing when you talk about the original people, and anyone else with a different bloodline can join, but it's through faith. It's grafted into the family of Abraham, but it's a bloodline thing. It ain't a join like they that like they got it going on. And when you wake up to who you are, you have to resume responsibility. I'll even talk to Israel that's unbelievers. Say if you Israel by bloodline, but you don't believe, your people entered into, a, your forefathers entered into a covenant agreement in the wilderness with the Most High. A blood agreement, they put the blood on themselves and said, we will obey you. You can't shake it. If you walk around like an atheist, if you walk around in disbelief, if you do not resume the faith of your forefathers, that's cool, but you're going to get punished. 
You're going to pay for that if you entered into the covenant agreement as well. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. <coughs> you can't escape. There is no escape for Israel. You got shipped into slavery. You didn't have nothing to do with that per se. You entered into slavery based on the covenant that your forefathers did. So you can't escape it. Oh, man. But those that will bow down to truth, those that will assume the response, you can't lay in the bed, y'all. You can't swing on poles. You can't be a crackhead. You can't run around here talking about it's thug life. You can't do gangster rap music. You can't be trisexual, triple, triple queer. <laughs> you can't. You can <laughs> if you want to. Oh, but there's a price to pay, baby. <laughs> You can't escape. No. So here we are. The Most High came. The parable. Back to the parable. The parable is, uh, it's like he came to a far country and he gave his goods out. He went to sow the seed of the word and he gave abilities. And the scripture speaks about the abilities that he gave you. See, when you get your stuff together spiritually, you understand that the gifts that you were given all the way down to administration. But the gifts you were given are supposed to be first spent in the house of Yah. That's right. And folks got it backwards because the majority of everything they got, they use it carnally. Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to get a nice house in the valley of the shadow of death. Try, trying to have a nice living and get educated on the Titanic. And the Titanic been hit, hit, hit the iceberg. Mm -hmm. There's a big leak in the boat, but folks is ignoring the things of Yah to try to make it in this life. So he went and he gave talents. He gave a five to somebody, and when he came back to check on them, they had five more. Because when Yah give you abilities, it opened doors for other things. Amen. It's the truth anyhow. We brag about the doors that open based on what we come. We bring stuff to the table and it kicks other doors open. Other opportunities are made off of stuff we do. If you do it carnally, then carnal doors open. You're getting promotions, other things igniting. You're helping the system uh, get better off your sweat. Your intelligence, the gift that he gave you is, in, is, is, is helping this carnal, this satanic carnal system. I'm not necessarily hating on that. I'm not necessarily hating on that. But what I am saying is what your gifts really are for, what your gifts really are for is first seek the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness and you should be bring forth fruit for eternal life. The gift that he gave you should be against, you should be going against this untoward generation. Your voice should be crying against the wickedness in the land. Yo, you should be uh, uh, lifting uh, the Mashiach up. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. We should be lifting him up. We riding around supporting this wicked system with all the gifts that the Most High is giving you. Because gifts and calling come without repentance. And what that's talking about is you're Israel whether you repent or not. And he has blessed you with abilities whether you repent or not. You ain't got to repent to be blessed by the Most High. You've been blessed already because of who you are and who you belong to, whether you answer the call or not. But those that don't answer the call is going to be punished. And he came down and he gave five to somebody and they turned around, kicked in some other door. Souls is being saved. Life, uh, their lives is being improved. <coughs> came to someone he gave four to. Three or whatever it is. And, and, and they come back. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> and they coming back with increase. Then he come to a joker. <laughs> come to a joker and say, look. The gift you gave me, I buried it. To be honest. We got to find ourselves in truth. To be honest, how many people took the gift he gave them and buried it? A.K.A. When you walk away from your call. When you're not doing what you're supposed to do for him. What does that really look like in day-to-day -day operations for the day? That means that you ain't doing nothing for him. You living every day for you. Period. 
You try you trying to find somebody to kiss and hug. Mm. Period. You trying to you trying to get an, another car. You're trying to get some rims on your car. You too busy getting your nails done. You you trying to get a some apple bottoms. You working on your bottoms so they can apple up when you get the apple bottoms. <laughs> Some, some folks are seeking, you know, trying to, you know, yeah, they try, folks, tr folks trying to get paid. Folks trying to get laid and paid. <laughs> folks trying to get laid and paid. They bear, they bear their, if you bring up the word, they'll talk about it some, but as soon as they walk away, they feel to be about they business. They're not about their father's business. I buried it. I buried it because I noticed that you reaping, we doing the work. I'm seeing folks assembling, I'm seeing folks giving money and all that. This is mama. I work for this money. I ain't got time to be driving folks around. I'm trying to, I can't be around a bunch of broke folks. I got to be around somebody that got something, wants something out of life. That's their state of mind. That's, I'm talking about the joker that look at y'all like he evil, like you're infringing on my right to live. You're an inconvenience to me. You in the way. I come every now and then, sing a couple of songs, but you, it don't take all that. So what I did is, yeah, I know I I I I, I can speak, I can I I, I can sing, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I got oratorical skills, I know some scriptures and stuff like, but I ain't got time for all that. I buried it, this belong to you. I didn't tell that's your stuff. You deal with that because I got dreams. Yeah, I buried it. I buried it. No, don't. Oh, you supposed to be a preacher. Who said that? I, what you talking about? I'm a CEO of a corporation. Please. I'm trying to be, so I ain't even got time to get married or nothing. That's what they did to our women. They got them in high pursuit of education. Gave them a superior position over the black man, over the Hebrew brother. They jacked us up through welfare. They gave us welfare, which uh, causes you to push the, the, the dude out. Gives you independence, gives you power. Now you're a freak running around here. Got a, pa a pack of camels rolled up in your sleeve. And you riding a motorcycle and all your hair gone. You buff. You, you the man. You pop. Your, 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 your dude is a sucker. You done ran him off. He's a weenie. Yeah, slapped him and, and took some UFC classic and whooped him physically too. <coughs> Mess around, got you a chick now. You got a love. <laughs> wicked system re 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 things, things are wicked And twisted They call it evil good and good evil Like how I'm talking that's wicked I'm wicked let them tell it I'm a hater and I got a phobia Because girls should be girls And boys should be boys They didn't twist it to the bathrooms up now Anything just come on in Just what, just gone and do <laughs> They like kids anyway. Kid, come on in, children. We in here waiting on you. Making love with Aunt bestiality. Cool. Now family members want to get married. Joker fell in love with his mama with your little filthy self. Now everybody want to be Nicodemus. Now they want to go back in his man, go enter back into his mama to be saved. Now everybody want to be Nicodemus. Now I see what he's talking about. <laughs> wicked. The wicked times we living in. And don't nobody want to be inconvenienced for the things of y'all. Folks are stacking their bank accounts up, uh, uh, carnally getting prepared. Joker, this place is about to blow the heck up. You ain't got nothing for y'all. You ain't got no time. You ain't going to get no money. You ain't finna, ain't nobody. You ain't showing up. Everything you do is secular. You're already blessed with the ability. They lied to you. you your, your start didn't start with slavery. They lied to you. They, they lied to you so bad they even uh, 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 stole your identity on, on, on a vendetta because uh, 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 Jacob took Esau's. Esau was not mad about the priesthood. About the things of Yah. He was mad when he got the physical blessing. Because that's all the carnal man is about. Is the physical blessing. And that's when he swore I'm going to kill him. When my daddy leave here. I'm going to kill him. And Yah through scripture let it be known. Those that are of the flesh. 
gets his hatred. In other words, his judgment. In other words, Yah uh, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. But if you don't believe, you're done. He didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, already condemned. His hatred is already set up in a, in a spiritual system to judge sin, to judge those that put carnality in their evil nature over obeying him. Those that want to go to church and lay up and fornicate and commit adultery upon this wicked world, uh, uh, checking their zodiac to see how their day going to be, you're a witch, you're a warlock, you've been fooled. You think there's many ways to lead to Yah. Even though the Mashiach said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. But folks got a bunch of paths. Got a lying picture of a homosexual, uh, Caesar Borgia, calling him Jesus. Mm. Hanging on an unk and they following that. Don't want to study, caught up in Catholicism, a trinity, when he clearly said from cover to cover, he ain't number one. Mm. The trinity comes from Egyptology. That's the origin of it. And this place hijacked Egyptology, and this is a Roman form of Egypt. That's why Deuteronomy 28 and 68 said, I'm going to ship you back into Egypt, the land of bondage, where you can get twisted up in religion, their religion, because you said, let his blood be upon us and our children. Now your melon is hated, your hair is hated, you hate it, but they sure wanted, wanted uh, uh, your inheritance. And they lied and they dogged you out and it's time for you to wake up. Time for you to take your rightful position as the evangelist of the earth and be the spokesperson, the spokesman, spokeswoman for Yah. In these wicked lads, what you ignoring it? What you got a live and let live attitude? Mind your own business, joker. Your life is an open book read of all men. You got a responsibility. Yeah, gifts and calling come without repentance. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Israel did not have nothing to do with being chosen. If you want to learn how to write and divide the word. In Romans, they think that uh, he just randomly was picking folk. No, gifts and, and callings are without repentance, meaning you were chosen because of what Abraham did, and you didn't have nothing to do with it. And you, were also, you also entered into a, a covenant agreement, bloodline, before you, and you didn't have nothing to do with it. Your five forefathers entered into it, and you were shipped into slavery, and you didn't have nothing to do with it. But what you do have is affiliation with it. You have a responsibility because you're his chosen people. And it's time for his chosen people to wake up and resume their responsibility. Yeah, you can ignore it. You can't hide in church, baby boy, with all that false doctrine and fake crosses. All these fake terms want to bow down and pray to Mary with your crazy self. The Messiah said, who is my mother? Say, your mama, who is, who is my mother? He ain't gave her no prayer. That's Catholicism. Catholicism is, is, is Catholic. Catholic is universal. The inclusion of all kind of satanic doctrine. Put it all, throw it all in this witch's brew. Stir it up and get you some. Get in and come out with some voodoo or something. <laughs> Go in there and get you some Torah card. I don't care what you do. As long as you don't serve Yah. Call him Earth Pig. I don't know what Jesus means, Earth Pig in Latin. Look it up. Call him Earth Pig. Call him God, a Babylonian deity. Look, look at the Isaiah 65, 11, and 12. And the Most High said, I'm going to point the sword to Israel for serving God. Spelled G A D. Pronounced God. The final uh, pronunciation is G-A-W-D. Have some Christmas. Tammuz birthday. Give you some Christmas. Some, we got whatever you want to do. We got it for you. Other than the truth. So we got we, we, we to gotta start waking up. We got to start waking up to truth. Bunch of religious jokers running around here. Laying up, fornicating, committing adultery. You want to talk about the rugged cross. You want to know what the real gospel is? The real gospel is the death, burial, resurrection of the Mashiach first. He's the first fruit. According to Romans, uh, uh, Romans 6, we were, we were baptized into his death. And if we were baptized into the likeness of death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. So now we're death, burial, and resurrection. To walk, and to raise up to walk in the newness of life right now. <clears throat> it ain't just him dying. 
Word said, reckon yourself to be dead. And he that is dead is free from sin. You can't do what you want to do. You cannot do the flesh lusts against the spirit. Galatians fifth chapter. The lust flesh against the lust. Uh, uh, the, the, the flesh lusts against the spirit. The spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one another. So you can't do what you want to do. That's what the word said. But false doctrine. The serpent will tell you you should not surely die. False uh, 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 Catholicism or Christianity <laughs> tells you that he did it all. You scot free. Don't even know what grace is. Grace is the unearnable ability to live his life because every man is carnal, born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But when you believe, he baptizes his spirit inside of you and give you the power to become a new creation. And if any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And he said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. It takes self-denial. Right. And those that got a mark on their life, whether they believe or not, is Israel. His chosen people by the blood. Gifts and call to come without repentance. You belong to him whether you repent or not. And you better hope you don't belong to him when he kick your behind. You ain't going to like it if you turn your back on him. Caught up in this world. He that, uh, he, he that uh, entangles himself. You, 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 he, you, you don't. You, you don't what, what, what is that? He that. He that. Uh, 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 when you're chosen, he that belonged to him do not entangle themselves with the cares of his life, that he may chose, that he may please him, that has called him to be a soldier. You cannot entangle yourself. Yeah, you got to eat. If a man don't work, he should eat. You should be working. You should be, but that shouldn't be the only reason why you're living, and it definitely shouldn't be first. Holler, run around here talking about family first. You lost your dog on mine. It's y'all first. Jokers running around here trying to do everything carnal. Want, 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 want to save the whales. Want, want, want to save the homeless. You want to save your behind. You want to get saved. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Running around here worried about a, 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 a crackhead. Running around here worried about homeless folk. Somebody on Heron. A hooker, a hooker running around here. Want, want to know what's happening to the goldfish. What's going on with the bees. Hey, hey, the Edomites is killing everything. The insects, the people, the food, the water, chemtrails in there, they tan up everything. And Yah's allowing them to. The wrath of Yah is on this place because of sin, because of wickedness, because folks running around here having a form of Yah denying the power thereof. Yeah, there was a man that went out into the far country. And he gave his, he gave him his goods. He gave his goods out. And he has expectation. If he put a call on your life and you know it and you walk away from it, woe on to you. Folks running around here like they're getting away. You ain't getting away with nothing. You don't even get away with words to come out your mouth. He said he's going to bring every idle word in the judge. You ain't getting away with nothing. And everyone that's working for him, you're going to get the blessing you got coming too. Ain't nobody sneaky. You ain't sneaking and get away. He's watching everything you do. And it's because the judgment of Yah isn't executed expediently. It is set in the heart of man to do wicked. Thinking they got away with You ain't got away with nothing. It's recorded. Joker told him, uh, you being a wicked man. You know what he said to him? He said, okay, say me being wicked. He didn't even disagree with him. I'm going to talk to you on your level. You say I'm wicked. Okay. Well, then what you should have did, since you see me that way, and you said you were scared, right? That's what he said. He said he said he's scared. He said, I'm scared, and I buried my town. Okay, say, so, so I'm a hard man, you say, right? Okay, that's cool. So since you knew that, you should have did what the heck I told you. Since you knew that I, I, don't, I, I, I sow where I don't reap, not realizing you can't sow without him in the first doggone right. play. <clears throat> but you are so selfish. And feel that you're going to miss out. He tried to tell you. I didn't come to take your life. I came to give it to you more abundantly. What you thought was life really was death. You were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. You didn't have life. Dead man walking. Dead woman walking. I didn't come to take your life. But since you called me wicked. And say I'm unreasonable. And I'm like infringing on your love life. Right, right, right. You can't mess with me because you ain't going to get a man. I hear you. 
Right, right. You, I, you know, ran, I ran your girl off. Huh? Okay, so now yeah, I hear you. That's how you, okay. Well, since you knew that I'm hard, then what you should have did is took what I gave you, gave it to the exchangers, and then came back and gave it back to me with usury. And what you would have found out is you would have came back with more souls. Somebody else would have seen your good works and magnified me, which is in heaven. And I would have been able to save their soul. But no, you wanted to go get high. You wanted to go get drunk. You was lonely. You want to stack your chips so you can save your life. Though I told you he to seek to save his life is going to lose it. But he that loses his life is going to find it. I told you that. I told you who was saved. He didn't hate his life, but you kind of like yourself. Mm. You kind of like yourself too much. Say, if you don't hate mother, father, brother, sister, yet even your own life, you cannot be my disciple because you're going to put them before me. And scriptural hate in Luke is talking about prefer more. It don't to tell you to hate your mother, your brothers. It's to, if you look up the word, the definition means you prefer your mama more than me. Your daddy more than me. Your, your wife, your husband more than your children. Yea, even your own life. Because you're going you gonna to do you as opposed to do what I called you to do. There is no escape. We're in a situation whether you wicked or you belong to him. Ain't no in between. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated, and Esau is a sellout. He ain't into the gift giver. He into the gifts. He don't care nothing about the gift giver. He hates the gift giver. Because the gift giver tells him to be good. The gift giver tells him to obey. And he don't want to. He's caught up in how he feel. How good it feels. He lives by the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. By his five gates. What he see, what he smell, what he tastes, what he hear, and how he feel. That's not of Yah. It's of the world. We got to wake up to know that this life is like a vapor of smoke. It appears for a moment and then it vanishes away. You cannot stay here. you just a pilgrim passing through. And if you want to sell your soul out to the devil, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay bad decisions. Joker, he had his talent. He had the responsibility. There's a responsibility that's attached to the truth. Ain't too much responsibility when you go to church. Learn a two couple of songs or two. See if you can lay up with that fine sister in the choir. Mm. Looking at the pastor white butt. Mm. Sneaking deacons. <laughs> Fire up a new port on the porch right before service. Mm. Pretty easy with this easy going Jesus did it all uh, uh, doctrine they run around mm. here with. Yeah, and then, you know, that's easy like Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Big old buff brother. You know, got him a little light-skinned brother. <laughs> you know, they look for a little stone ale around there. <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 little cute stone walk up in there. <laughs> Woo! Sang it like Eddie Kendricks with a little, little soprano boy, a little cute dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stone. Man. Sorry. <laughs> Is this Facebook? We are, hello? I hope they don't know him. <laughs> but come on, y'all. Israel, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake up. Just look, 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 look. Look, look, look. Yah's the one that called. Real talk, too. It ain't nobody getting away. Yah is the one that called you. Yah is the one that called you, and you owe him. And you can't hide behind false doctrine. False doctrine uh, uh, puts the responsibility on Jesus, on Caesar Borgia. <laughs> Put the responsibility on Caesar Borgia. Look at the Caesar. <laughs> that, little, that little weird paint job they got going, little soft dude sitting up there on the, on the unk. Look to him, because he did it all. But the true responsibility is the death, burial, and resurrection belong to everybody that believes. Because when you believe, you are baptized into his death. And like as he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. If you're in, in the Mashiach, you're a new creator. You can't do that. 
You can't go to club. You can't get high. You can't get drunk. You can't be cussing. You can't run around here, King, gangster rap, cussing and acting the doggone fool. You got some stuff to be frustrated about, but he told you how to deal with it. Die. Believe and die. Quit being led by your flesh. Got folks that belong to y'all and they know it. With a call and an anointing on them. And they know it's evident. Can't get away with it. And they run around here war witches and warlocks. Spiritually confused. Up under the drunk on the wine of the Babylonian whore that's in Revelation the 17th chapter. And Yah showed her destruction in Revelation the 18th chapter and said, come out from among her. Catholicism, the, wearing the purple and with the, with, with the gold flash and the cup. Ain't nothing but a Catholicism, Catholic church. Calling that joke a father. Word said, call no man father. Getting in a little, in a little booth, confessing your sin to a cat in there to like, like little boys. Come up out of that doggone booth. Bowing down to them statues, saying a prayer to Mary and the rest. Are you kidding me? Idolatry, fornication, cheat no yah. We need to wake up. You ain't no Muslim. Trying to get to a doggone cobblestone that fell out of the sky. Are you serious, right? Come on, somebody. Got us thinking Africans turned on Africans. No, it was the Hamites and the Muslims turned on the children of Israel. They was hiding out in, in Nigeria is what happened. It was shipped into slavery. And try to hide that fact they changed the name of the Middle East to uh, change the name of Southeast Africa where all that, all that region uh, 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 it, it is where everything went down, changed to the Middle East so you wouldn't know it was Africa. Because if you know it was Africa, then you know they black. But that's another way that they hijacked you because now you, 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 heard, you heard what the... the, 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 the the, 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 the president of Egypt said in 1952, he said that them Ashkenazi Jews, when they went in there and started killing the Palestinians in 1947 and took their land, he said, you will never find peace here because you left black and came back white. That's right. Mm. Look it up. It's on Time Magazine. On the cover of Time Magazine. And he said it on national television. <laughs> but it's time for Israel to wake up. Kill all that old low self-esteem stuff. It's time for you to, uh, 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 while you're killing your, your little self-esteem issue, what, what will kill it for you is the gospel, the true gospel. Yeah. That, you, that you believe that the, the Mashiach died on that tree for your sin. And you accept him as your master and you repent, you turn around. Your, your, your self-esteem, your, your sexual weirdness, <clears throat> your, your, your self-preservation, you looking out for you, you seeking to save your, seeking to save your life. And all that old stuff goes out with it. You get rid of all that. You can forget all the people you hurt in the past. I don't even care if you was a murderer in the past. Well, all the evil that you didn't did, all that's behind you. Because if you be the Mashiach, you're new. You're a new creation. And everybody can be saved. That's why he told Abraham, I'll make you the father of many nations. Not just the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Many nations. Because the criteria to get in this is through faith. Do that make void being a Jew? No. Read Romans uh, 3. No. There's advantage of being a Jew because you his chosen people and you've been hidden. But now he's waking you up. Romans 11 chapter. The scales is falling from, from, from Israel's eye. They're waking up to find out who they are. Not these cussing brothers that's calling all white people devils. <laughs> Them wicked dudes. They need to repent. And white people need to repent. You dogged us out. Hey, I mean, I mean, you personally didn't do it, but you're a beneficiary, and you need to stand up for what's true. Mm. They kill us in the middle of the street, and you want to holler, Blue Lives Matter, with your funny style self. Mm -hmm. Knowing they murder, and they out of pocket, they wicked. Klansmen with a cop uniform on. Come on, somebody. Oh, man. Oh, man. We need to wake up. We need to repent all the way across the board. Repent. Walk away from sin. Repent. Die. Death, burial, resurrection. You were talking about he did. You do it too. He's the first fruit. You follow suit. You say you're a disciple, that means follow him. Follow suit. Follow what he did. Die. Yeah, he went to the far country. He gave goods. What goods you got? 
How many goods is on Facebook? You got money? Break bread. With the, with, with, for the things of Yah. You don't need an extra a car to sit next to the car. You got break bread. Read uh, Acts the fifth chapter. Joker saving and, 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 and stacking up while the, while the house of Yah lay waste. Can't do what it's supposed to do because you got a bunch of stingy uh, seeking to save their life. Joker sitting up there pretending that they love Yah. Joker, yeah, I can look at your bank account and tell you don't love them. You can look at your time. Follow your receipts and your time. Then you'll know who you love. Well, where do you spend time? When, when service, when, when the people, uh, 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 Hebrews 10 and, and 20, 25 say, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some means, but exhorting one another so much the more as you see the day approaching. When the people of Yah is assembling, where are you? You assembling when folks are chasing money? You assembling when folks is with G-strings on swinging around poles? Getting drunk and high? Where, where are you assembling? Folks, uh, pistols on the table? Drugs everywhere. Where are you assembling? Where, where are you assembling? Who are you assembling with? Folks that's cussing and lying and, 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 and talking crazy, pimping and pandering. Is that where you're assembling? Because those that belong to Yah is assembling with the people of Yah. And he said, well, two or three gathered in my name. Uh, he's in the midst. He's right there giving instructions. He's giving us his goods. And he expects us to go out and put it to work and to use it for kingdom building. Not for personal, selfish building. Folks trying to come up so they can go in floss mode. Joker, you touch some money, you need, you need to make sure that everybody around you is doing well. It's your stingy self. Stacking with self-preservation. The devil taught you that. The, the kingdom of the Edomites taught you that. Hebrews can't get along. That's a part of the curse. But you should, when, you, when you receive him, you should be not out of the curse. Because the kingdom dividing itself can't stand. You've been taught that through the Woolly List letter. They, 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 you are you're the results of an experiment. They dogged you out. Try to make you look inferior. Try to make you look weak. Try to make you look like you nothing. Boy, shot that boy down. Talking about that boy. He showed a picture of him stealing inside of the store. Gunned him down. He running from him. The dude shooting at him. The narrative in the police report say that he turned around and was running at him. Is why he kept shooting him. Mm. What made him start shooting him is he said because he was running from him. Remember he pulled up in the cop car? Said that he tried to pull him out the window. You are lying. Got holes in his back. You shoot him in the back. What? He ain't reaching the car. He running from you. Wow. He's running from you. You a liar. But a prejudice, either might America believe that. Hebrews didn't believe that. It only make no doggone sense. You got a gun. I'm running from you now. I'm, I'm pursuing you. And then while you shoot me in the back, I turn around and start running at you again while you shooting me. They believe that though. Mm. Wicked. And y'all going to get you too. Mm. He didn't get away with it. And when you posted Blue Lives Matter, you didn't get away with it either. Mm. Word teaches not to be a partaker of another man's sin. And when you cheer them on, Blue Lives Matter, they're Let's repent, y'all. Let's repent. Hey, in closing, Yah said you, you, you bless Abraham's seed. You talk about his physical seed. Now, you knew that concept when you thought it was those cats, those Asmite Jews that killed the Palestinians and stole their land, pretending to be us. You were sending money over there. We'll go to West Oakland and break bread. If, 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 if you bless the, the, the seed of Abraham and the and Yah said he's going to bless you And if you curse him He said he's going to curse you And please believe me Whoever enslaved his children Did not get away with it Whoever enslaved The Most High's children Did not get away with it And those of you that's Christian semi-racist Secretly right Run around with the American flag and all that type of stuff Do not want to admit that scripture proves 100% that the African American Is, is true Israel You don't want to admit that do you Cause something wrong. You more prejudiced, like you pretend. You like our rap music. I know that. You 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 like our swag. You, you trying to come up on it? Well, will admit, study, find out that we're Israel. And those of you that's Israel, repent. And those of you that ain't Israel, repent. You're being grafted into to Israel. <laughs> it, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In my closing, Saul said, he said, look, he said, Gentile, don't you forget I'm Hebrew. Don't you ever forget. And I'm your apostle. That's exactly what he told him. And he said, and don't you brag against him. Don't you go against him. Because just like y'all whoop they tell, he'll whoop yours too. He'll whoop yours faster. Don't forget it. The covenant agreement is with Israel. Can everybody be saved? Heck yeah. You need the ingredient. And the ingredient is the faith of they daddy. Mm -hmm. The Negro's daddy, Abraham. Yeah. <clears throat> so repent. Next time you see Israel get dogged out, speak up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Give him a praise for the word. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Anybody, uh, out there, uh, that want to repent? It's the best move you can possibly make. The, the times is wicked. The times is wicked and we need to change. It's just the truth. We need to change. We need to come together and, and, and stand with Yah. Period. Dot com. Stand with truth. Period. We need to shake Catholicism and get with truth. Bow down to truth. The Mashiach, the Master, our Savior. And um, I want to pray with you. If there's anyone out there that's tired of this fake religious stuff and want true relationship, let's pray right now. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How many you know how? Admitting that you came to the far country, you came down 42 generations to save us. And you gave your gifts through the Ruach HaKadosh according to Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Or you gave gifts to the body. Uh, according to Ephesians 4, that we might evangelize uh, uh, the earth, the planet. Cause Israel to kill the low self-esteem and to repent, to come back to their history book. The white man did not write the history book. Uh, the truth of the history book is being revealed in these last and evil days. Uh, we want to repent from uh, uh, being uh, uh, religious and living in sin, uh, putting all our scandalous living on 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 Jesus uh, hanging on on the cross we want to take a responsibility that we were baptized into his death when we believe that Mashiach died on that tree for us and that he rose again with all power in his hand and we should be risen to walk in the newness of life we repent we repent from religion we want a true relationship we repent from from witchcraft and and stubbornness and rebellion and palm reading and zodiac signs and we repent from all spiritual uh, uh, confusion, uh, the religion of Beyonce and all this dumb stuff. Uh, we, we repent. Uh, uh, please forgive us. You said if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you'll hear from heaven. You'll forgive our sins and you'll heal our land. We need our personal land uh, healed. The, the, the land is not made with hands. Uh, please uh, uh, forgive us and fill us up with your spirit, your Ruach HaKadosh. Uh, we repent and we receive you even right now. Repeat after me. Say, uh, Yahushua. Yahushua. I repent. I repent. From all sin. From all sin. And I receive you. I receive you. In my life. In my life. And in my heart. In my heart. As my father. As my father. And my savior. And my savior. In the matchless. In the matchless. Name of Yahushua. Hamashiach. Hamashiach. We humbly pray. Hallelujah. 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 Oh man, y'all Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to talk for a minute, we can. All you got to do is call 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. We can chop it up for a minute. If not, that same number will be on Monday morning, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's tomorrow. 6 a.m. Chime in and pray with us. We'll do another sermonette. Thanks for hanging out with us. Y'all be Baruch and Barak and Shalom. Oh, I ain't got to do that now. Huh? Yeah, why I do it? I don't even know what to do. I'm so excited.